Welcome to part uh, 5 of this uh, Icon Design tutorial where we will have a look at uh, limiting objects. And to do that we will uh, add an engine to the system and we will get to see a little bit about the function groups. But the main purpose here is to look at the proportional limitation of our uh, lifting function that we created before. And uh, to see more about limiting objects, we will also add an on-off interlock that could be used, for example, like an operator presence check. So the function that we had since before is the function for controlling the lift and lowering. And here we will be adding a limitation so that uh, lifting uh, flow is uh, reduced if we, uh, our engine speed is low. And to do this, we of course need to bring in a signal for the engine speed. So uh, we do that by adding a J939 engine to the system. So we will start out by uh, just uh, making a little bit of room here. And I right click here to add a function group. And this will be uh, the engine function group. And uh, to bring in uh, uh, some uh, predefined functionality here, what I can do is I can take file and import uh, and import components from the solution library. So we select the engine from here and uh, we bring this in. And here I've got a couple of function groups with uh, uh, standard J939 engine functionality. And if we look at uh, this here, we see engine speed is in here, uh, but I have an error here uh, not assigned to an unreachable module. And uh, I need to do one thing, and that is to uh, connect this to the one of the CAN buses on the MD4. So we just make a connection here, and we can go back to see our signals here. And uh, now they are OK. And another thing that I will do is uh, to look at this uh, engine speed here and make this uh, a public uh, channel to make it available throughout the application. So I right click on this and instead of a function group output that I had before, I make it public. That means I can use it wherever I want in the, inside this uh, MD4 application. And uh, just to tidy things up a little bit here and to only focus on the lift function for now, let's add a function group also for the lift function. So we add uh, one function group that we call lift function and we take these channels that we had here and we uh, bring them into the lift function uh, group. The function that we will implement here is to uh, limit the output if the engine speed is uh, low and we reduce it uh, proportionally. So as the engine speed starts dropping below 1300 RPM, we gradually reduce it and when it's at 700 we only allow 20% output uh, maximum. So to add this, let's enter the lift function and inside uh, this uh, lift function here, in limiting plus, this is for the lifting direction, uh, I right click and add a, a vector object. So this gives me two points uh, in, in which I can uh, have this uh, gradual reduction in between. And the input to this is the engine speed. So I find this under my engine signals uh, engine speed here. And uh, uh, at uh, 700 we have a 20% output and at uh, 1300 we have a 100% output. Uh, so this gives us a gradual uh, reduction here. So let's uh, simulate this. Okay, so to simulate this, I've uh, also added a simulation group and we can use this to set our uh, engine speed to uh, a reasonably high RPM here and uh, also manipulate our uh, joystick. So let's uh, uh, put the joystick in... Uh, in uh, in neutral position and we see now that the limiting plus here is grayed out uh, so since we're not uh, moving in the lifting direction uh, it's not uh, uh, looking at the limiting plus uh, if I then increase uh, this 
uh, this now becomes a green, meaning that it's evaluating the limiting plus. And I can uh, bring the joystick up to, so that we're trying to lift uh, with 82% here. And now if I then bring the engine revs down, you'll see that this limit starts to kick in. So at uh, about uh, 900 RPM here, we have a limited uh, output in the lifting direction. Uh, if we move this in the other direction so that we're lowering in instead of lifting, then the limiting plus is once again uh, grayed out. So in this direction, it's the, it would have been the li limiting minus instead. To see more about uh, limiting objects, let's uh, also add an uh, interlock that uh, uh, when the driver is, uh, that it's only possible to uh, activate the outputs when the driver is in the seat. Uh, so uh, we can add another uh, digital input to do this. And uh, we give it the name uh, uh, driver in seat uh, switch. So the name reflects that uh, this channel is true when the driver is in the seat. Uh, and we place this on our uh, XC21 module. And uh, to add this, we go to limiting plus and right click, add uh, dual and connect this to the driver in seat. And uh, when this value is true, that gives a limit of 100. When it's false, it gives uh, the limit uh, zero. And this is also combined with the method here. Now we have two uh, limiting plus objects. We have the engine speed and we have the driver in seat. The way these are combined is with the channel method, uh, min of absolute. So the smallest one is the one that's limiting our uh, movement in the plus direction. And we can do the same thing for the limiting minus here. So right clicking, adding a dual object, connecting this to that same switch. But here, when working in the limiting uh, minus direction, it's uh, negative numbers that we're working with. So uh, when the driver is in the seat, we allow a lowering of up to uh, minus 100. Uh, and when he, he leaves the seat, this is limited to zero, so effectively being a uh, disabling of this uh, function. Okay, so for the simulation, I've uh, moved the channels about a little bit and I've also added this uh, driver in seat to the simulation group. So we start out here with the joystick in uh, neutral and uh, both limiting plus and minus are grayed out. So. With controlling at zero, there's no need to look at the limiting objects. If we start out in the lifting direction, we see limiting plus uh, becomes uh, green here. It's evaluated. There's no limitation from engine speed, but the driver is not in the seat. Uh, so if uh, he uh, is in the seat, then the limitation is 100 and it, we can see an activation uh, here on our uh, output. Uh, so uh, the same thing if we go in the other direction, uh, lowering uh, is uh, enabled here, uh, but if uh, the driver were to suddenly leave the seat here, uh, that limitation becomes zero and that's uh, stopping the output uh, movement. Uh, so controlling, uh, when that is zero, we're not looking at limiting. Uh, when controlling is positive, we're looking at the limiting plus and normally you use the min of absolute uh, uh, to uh, take the smallest uh, limitation possible. And then uh, if we have controlling uh, being a negative number, we're looking at limiting minus. Uh, okay, that's uh, everything about uh, limiting objects.